Hello everybody, today we'll be talking about Calculation Cascade. I watched too many videos on YouTube but I can't really understand them because they put too many stuff into it. So I kind of made my own video and I made it really simple and I used the mnemonic for it. I hope you, you guys will understand after watching this simplified video. Okay, it has two pathways, two pathways extrinsic and, and intrinsic and the other one is common pathway. The red line indicates for the intrinsic pathway, green is for extrinsic pathway, and the blue line is for common pathway. Okay, once you, do I, once you, once you understand this, then I'll talk about mnemonic. The mnemonic I use is 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. No rocket science, 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. And just made a little change here. I made this zero as one. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this mnemonic on this diagram so you guys can really understand it. Just gonna put here a T, an E, N. Then this is our common pathway, so 10. Two and one. Okay, so that's how our mnemonic has been done. This T stands for twelve, E for eleven, and for nine. Okay, okay. Uh, the twelve factor twelve is activated by activated platelets, collagen, okay, 12 gets activated and it gets converted into 12A, just gonna write here 12A, it's an active form, then it helps 11 to get converted into 11A, then it helps 9 to get converted into 9A which eventually helps 10 to get into 10 a 10 a gets converts 2 into 2 a and 2 a converts 1 into 1 a and this 1 a uses calcium to make a stabilized plug I just simplified it and I put their activated form so it won't get that much complicated 12A gets, uh, helps to convert 11A, 11 into 11A, same, likewise 9A, 10A, 2A, and 1A. 2A is also called thrombin and 1A is fibrin. Uh, some people confuse it thrombin and fibrin, but you gotta remember is we're going down to up starting from 1, we're going to 12. In alphabetically, F comes first and T comes later. That's how you can remember it. And this 1A uses calcium to make a stabilized plug. Alright, we're gonna talk about some extra factors. One is 8, the other is 5, and one is 13. 8 gets activated into 8A and it goes with 9A. 5 gets activated into 5A and it goes with 10A. 13 gets activated into 13A, it goes with 1. And they are activated by 2 because we didn't give a 2 here, anything here. We gave a 9, we gave 10 something, we gave 1 something, we didn't give anything to 2. So, it's gonna take all of them. It says, oh, you didn't give me anything? You know what? I'll take all of you. And it helps them into activate them into their active state. Alright. So, pretty simple. And there are some factors which are activated by which needs calcium too. They are starting from here, common path middle 10. I'm just gonna use this red marker for them. Just gonna circle them. They need calcium, they need calcium. Then 
This one needs calcium. Okay, this was our in uh, intrinsic pathway. The extrinsic pathway, we have only one factor, which is factor 7. That get converted to 7a, and then it goes to 10, and converts 10 into 10a. And it also needs calcium, which you're gonna put a... Uh, circle around it too. So pretty much everything around 10 they need calcium. All right, left or bottom, they all need calcium. All right guys, now I have summed up everything in this simplified diagram. And one more thing I would like to mention is the factors with uh, dotted lines around them, they need vitamin K for their synthesis in the liver. And you can memorize it by the video by watching this diagram, or you can memorize it to our mnemonic. Uh, 10 is in the middle, we take one from left uh, from, from left side and take one from right side, and we just put it right there. So it's a 9, 10, 2, and of course the ext extrinsic pathway of 1. Thank you very much. If I missed something, do comment below, I'll try to correct it. Thank you.